icons that looks like this with the, nothing in the middle is when we met with you as commissioners or with your predecessors to make sure we had good collaboration and a good, uh, a good amount of direction as to what you wanted us to do. Uh, back in October of 2013, the VOCC approved a two-part funding plan, which was for the water supply study and the well monitoring project. The well monitoring project was $247,000 and the water supply study $140,000. During the next year or year and a half or so, we met repeatedly with, with you and your predecessors to accomplish that. Uh, we got funding from the CWCB, the Colorado Water Conservation Board, in 12, on the 12th of September 2014. That $247,000 was rolled over immediately into the well monitoring project, which you've gotten a recent update from uh, Mr. Rick Everett. Uh, that project terminates on the 1st of March of 2018. Okay, so during that three-year period, they're monitoring uh, wells across Elbert County to, to try to uh, come up with empirical data to feed the water supply study. Uh, on the 12th of September, actually about a week or so before, the decision was made to split the water supply study, the funding line from the water supply study from the well monitoring project. The well monitoring project was funded, and this was all deferred until the next meeting of the CWCB, which was in March of 2015. At that time, on the 18th of March, the CWCB funded the water supply study. And I say they funded it actually with $140,000 grant money, but that included $120,000 from CWCB uh, and $20,000 from the Elbert County matching funds in that regard. So since that time, on the, the uh, March of 2015, we've been 19 months with no contract in that whole process. So the water supply study has still not been uh, initiated. I, I shouldn't say it hadn't been initiated. The commissioners uh, selected Forrest Grant on the 2nd of November 2015 as the, as the selectee, but no contract has been put in place to go ahead and actually execute that, that water supply study. There has been one contract, though, and that contract has been between CWCB and you commissioners. And that is, you have agreed with CWCB that you, in that original 2 August 2015 contract, you agreed to complete this water supply study by the 1st of September of 2016. Of course, that date has come and gone. So in the middle of last year, we asked the CWCB for a one-year extension. That extension was approved, was submitted and approved, and that means that the Water supply study now needs to be completed. It's a one-year study. has to be completed by the 1st of September of 2017. Okay. Well, we're already past that, because at least a month past that, because the water supply study is a year-long process. If we kicked it off on the 1st of November, it couldn't be completed until November of 2017, which is two, past, two months past the one-year extension. So for where we are right now, we're already going to have to ask for another extension for the $140,000, or I should say $120,000 of grant money that has been sitting on the shelf for the last 19 months. So I wanted to give you a feel for that. The same thing applies with regards to the well monitoring project. So now we shifted from the water supply study to the well monitoring project. We need about a one-year lead time to stand up the grant application and work through all the staffing issues and then submit through the uh, there's a round table process, which of course Commissioner Ross and Roland are thoroughly familiar with. That process takes about a year from the very beginning to the very end before you get an approval for grant money. The CWCB, the last meeting before the end of funding in March of 2018 is in September of 2017. Now they're going to meet again in March, but by that time the money would have already run out. So they would have to shoot for this. September 2017 meeting to get the grant approval. That means you have a year lead time. You need to start by September 2016 the grant process for more money to extend the well monitoring project from just a three-year project, perhaps even longer, three, another three years or another ten years, whatever, whatever uh, you think is appropriate. That hasn't happened. That grant application process has not been initiated. So let me talk a little bit about where we are right now. So with regards to water supply study, we have the money available. You have promised CWCB that you would go ahead and execute that project, and you've already asked for a one-year extension. You're going to have to ask for another one because you can't get it done on time. With regards to the well monitoring project, we need more money to extend the database more than just a three-year timeline. We haven't started the grant application process because we already have money on the table that hasn't been utilized as you said you would in the contract. 
So let me move away from that. What you have in front of you, and I'm sorry I only have two copies, but you have the 2016 requirements for more grant monies, which we would need for the well monitoring project. Those new grant requirements start off the very first requirement in the new 2016-2017 grant requirements is demonstrate the ability to collaborate. Okay. Another requirement that's in there is you have to be able to demonstrate the ability to execute on the money within six months of the funding action. Those are new requirements. Um, and I leave it to your imagination as to why those have appeared now in this new funding set of funding requirements. On the second page, let me go one more page here. You've probably heard a little bit about this, but let me go into detail. In April of 2016, the Colorado Supreme Court issued a decision that cut the separate tax revenues for folks who are doing mining interests that are using lands to go ahead and uh, so the money that is paid by mining interest in, by way of severance taxes ordinarily was funding the Department of Natural Resources, which was also funding CWCB, the Colorado Water Conservation Board. In 2016, that amount of money for the whole of DNR went to 100, was at $112 million, of which CWCB got $7 million. That's their funding. That's where we would go. That's a pot of money called the Water Supply uh, RA. Reserve account. Reserve account, okay. WSRA. That's the pot of money we would be going to get money from if we were looking for more money for the well monitoring project. Okay. So across the board, DNR's money has gone from 112 billion to about 70 million. So a drop of over 30% in that whole in that chain time frame. Excuse me. <coughs> 78 million. 78 million is the uh, 2017 projected revenue. So it's a 30% drop from last year to this year, and expecting another 20% drop from this year to next year. Keeping in mind that when that new decision came in, it was in already in April of 2016, and all those mining companies didn't have a chance to sit down with all the tax lawyers and figure out how they could take full advantage of it. So it's expected that CWCB total funding, which was at $7 million, is already dropped to just under $5 million, and we expect the anticipated revenue for 2017 is about three and a half million dollars. Well, three and a half. Okay. But we don't know how smart those tax lawyers are when they sit down with the mining companies and see how much that's going to you know, what the impact is going to be. That's going to have to just wait until the money starts rolling in. Bottom line is, everybody figures that the water, the amount of water in the well is going to be considerably less than there is now. Competition for those dollars is going to be much higher. And there are going to be natural questions that are asked in that grant application process subject to the new evaluation criteria on the ability to demonstrate collaboration and the ability to, to execute on the funds within six months of the funding decision. All of that points to the need from where we are right now to move on the money that's already on the shelf that we need to move into a contract basis to start the water supply study so that perhaps somewhere downstream, <coughs> by the time we get to the decision with regard to the well monitoring project, late in 2017, we might have some options with regards to grant applications, which we don't have right now. So that's what I want to bring to your attention and to ask you to act on the contract issue for the water supply study. Any questions? You're correct when you say that the work has to be completed by September 1 of 2017. What's interesting to note in the extension is that they do mention fiscal year 2018. In other words, this does allow for funds to come from CWCB during fiscal year 2018. It just says any, minus any funds expended in fiscal year 2017. Now what's interesting is that you got to get the work done. But this seems to indicate that there might be some availability to get the final payments, or at least use some of those funds, past the time that the work is done. Without an extension. Sure. It's just a nuance in here, because what they do is they, they, they make it clear, they say that the work shall, this grant shall terminate on September 1, 2017, and it also states that the work 
and other obligations and in the Exhibit A on and before September 1, 2017. So that is a, a firm deadline. But then they talk about the maximum amount and they commit fun, funds from all three fiscal years, 2016, 2017, and 2018. So I guess I, I'm just wondering if it's in the pipeline, if it's okay, if it's if it's secure. That's that's my question. I don't know the answer to it. But there is a little nuance in this extension. If, if I may, let me bring up another issue that I hadn't intended to discuss, but to amplify on the contract that was signed by the commissioners. One of the principal issues in that contract is a six-month report, every six months, from 3rd of August 2016 to 2015. Uh, every six months, that report is due to CWCB, amplifying any particular issues that may have come up uh, and discussing any major changes. Uh, if, if that six-month report has ever been provided, I'm not aware of it. Um, it hasn't. It hasn't. Not from staff. Um, on the well monitoring? No. On, the, on your contract with CWCB to go ahead and provide a report to CWCB every six months. Um, there's a provision in that contract for termination of the contract uh, for essentially breach or mm -hmm. failure, failure to, to meet the obligations. Um, and the good news is, is that if that clause is going to be activated, they will provide formal written notice and an opportunity to cure. And I think that's important to remember. We'll know about it, but we may not have the ability to cure at that late point uh, because of a variety of considerations. Um, so from my perspective, and if I might speak for the WAC as well, um, the solution now is to take the money in hand and execute the water supply study and then work towards whatever we need to do with regards to funding on the well monitoring once we're closer to the March 18 deadline. Is that fair to say, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have, a, I have another question. You're mentioning it take a year to do the work. And I, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know the schedule that was proposed. Let me, let me show you what the schedule looks like. Yeah, that would be great. I just wonder if it's possible to do it in 10 months or... It, I think it is. We need to discuss that with the consultant for revision of the schedule. I don't know that for sure. I think we can double up on some of those tasks. Well, I'm surprised to hear you say that. Okay. Uh, it's one of your backup slides. I don't seem to be able to bring it up on a computer. It's here. But it's one of your backup slides there. Uh, in this package. Can you think of wrong? It's this one right here. Looks like this. And this is kind of a nominal schedule for 2017-2018. There's a, there's a very elaborate lay down here. So the very first part of the process is getting approval from the, essentially coming up with a plan, getting approval from the commissioners if that plan is appropriate, and then drafting the grant application. Remember back in the past we had a two-part plan. This would be a single-part plan, I believe. Uh, and that process then is approved by the commissioners. It's put into, into action. And it's required uh, under the new guidelines, and it was under the 2015 guidelines as well, that you have to go through the basin roundtable process. Every time you go before a basin roundtable, you first go to the needs committee, make your presentation to the needs committee, they provide feedback. That feedback is incorpor incorporated into your presentation when you go before the full roundtable. Um, there are a number of, and not statutory, but they're, they're part of the... Uh, part of the process that's set forth by CWCB, for example, you have to submit the, the final grant application 60 days prior to CWCB, so we go from September as a target date to July as a submission date, and then that backs up all your, your duplexing needs committee and roundtable committees all the way back, and it all starts with about a two and a half or three month process of getting the commissioners to, you know, the right directions and, and, and guidance from the commissioners captured in the grant application itself. Sure, and I was referring more to tasks that are involved to get to that point. Not, I'm not going into that. So when I say a year, keep in mind that we were talking here January of 13, well, it probably actually started, that was in October of 13, we started meeting with the commissioners in April, and April of 13 to September was a year and a half. And that, I hope we get better at it than that, 
uh, and I think we would, uh, but um, it, this is a year already takes into consideration that there's some collapse due to sufficiencies along the way. I mean, they, the time collapse. Right, right. I mean, see if I can provide yeah. something wide if I can ask a yeah. simple question. Right now, we are covered by a one-year extension that runs from September 17th to September 18th. Right, and that's the date on which all work on the contract has to be finished. By September, is that so September 30th? September, right. yeah. Is it September 1, is it a 13-month contract? Is it September 1st to so September 30th, or is it October September 1st? September 1st, 1st. September 1st. September 1st. September 1st, 2017, all the work has to be completed. So the, so the issue is? 18. Eight. Uh, Seventeen. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're in sixteen, right? So, sorry. so okay. So the issue is. So, so, so let me finish my question for you. Get the whole thing up for. I can answer your question. I, mean, <laughs> I haven't asked the whole question yet. How can you answer it? You're or what? Okay. So we have till we have uh, ten and a half months left, thereabouts, to complete the work under the current extension. The question is this. Can the work be done in ten and a half months? And that's that's where we that's where we were at in the discussion. I'm right. saying I think we can double up on some of those tasks. Rick. Okay. Rick is feeling. We're talking about two completely different things. We are. Okay. We are. You're talking mm -hmm. about the execution of the contract under the water supply, and I don't really know. I couldn't speak to that. I would I would defer to the con to the select dean in that process as to whether that could be done in the ten and a half months. That's correct. And you may very well be right. No, there. and you're correct. I was not referring to your piece of the puzzle that you were talking about. Our piece of the puzzle, ramping up the grant application, right? Taking the road on the show and the show on the road to the right round table. That I don't think can be collapsed too much more than. I agree. It depends on too many other calendars. I agree. Right. If, if, if I may. Yeah. In my summary, it's this: we're putting. The grant we've got approved already, we're putting those funds at risk by delay. Okay. In addition to that, we are putting at risk in a big way any future possible grant requests that we may have because we are not acting, and that will go into the equation. When the seven million gets reduced to three and a half million, and they look back at Elton County and say, "You guys want another hundred and fifty thousand dollars?" Time out. No, thank you, because you can't execute. And Gary, Gary, so, Gary, Gary's Gary's so we, we either move on and get this thing approved, get the contract done, or those two things are greatly at risk. Yep, that is exactly correct. Bob, yeah. uh, he's, he's speaking for Is us. he speaking? Yeah. I'm not going to add anything more to it. It's always it's always part of the calculation. How how well did they perform under the last? You know agreement and how did they execute it? It's all it's all part of the puzzle. I went back and took a look at the old requirements. I tried to find the old. I couldn't actually find the old requirements, but I see nothing that shows that that was ever part of the requirements before. So if there was any, if you needed evidence that the staff at CWCB is aware of what's happened here and is trying to crystallize that requirement as part of the written requirements, it's now in place. Yeah, and they are well aware of it. I mean, they're they're watching they it. That's all I have, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Can I answer any other questions? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. I think, speaking from my part of the WAC, I think we should very seriously consider getting this approved, this well study, ASAP. Because going to these by going to the Arkansas Basin Roundtable and also reading about what's going on with the CWCB, we're at risk of losing this money. There's no question about it. So I would recommend we put it on the dot on the agenda for next next meeting and get it get it get it started and get it um, on its way. You're talking about beginning the application process for the well monitoring. No, Extended. I'm talking about the well study. The water supply the the contract well we're doing has well not been set. executed yet, and that needs to get on the agenda. And, and you understand that there's reasons behind that? There's reasons behind it. I'm not sure they're justified or what, but, but I say put it there. Well, the water supply contract is still underway. 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 Well, the water supply contract is still under
you know, behind the curve here. Um, no. There have been three iterations of the contract proposed by Porsche. Uh, if we could have those back in front of us. Actually, we were at a point where we were at the final, the final draft was created by Mr. Morgan, and that was the one the board was looking from. I understand that. But it might help you. Well, I can share that with you. This is the consolidated version and the smooth copy of that contract. Uh, the process, if I might just elaborate, this is the latest, latest version. Yes, sir. And what you have is one, in your right hand there, is the copy of it has all the changes written into it, and what Mr. Wilcox has is the smooth copy of the same document. So this one's going to look a little messier than that one. Okay. But uh, the point, we, the point we went back to the six points. We went back to the six points. The that's right. Point. That's right. Well, we, uh, there were there were changes that occurred throughout this process. What this particular document did is it reverted back to the original. Did several things. It reverted back to an original set of six requirements in the statement of work. They had been amplified for a variety of reasons, which subject to a lot of discussion. That was all moved backwards. And then there were also probably, and forgive me if I'm wrong, sir, but I'm guessing there were at least four or five specific concerns that were voiced by Mr. Ross. All of those concerns were addressed as thoroughly as we could possibly do, and then were collaboratively engaged with everybody who had an iron in the fire. The contractor, the WAC, uh, the public, we had a number of meetings where folks had an opportunity to discuss these issues and be part of that process. All of those comments were put into this consolidated version that Mr. Ross has in front of him, and I can certainly send electronic copies again as well. And that's the outcome. So, and the specific individuals, the specific collaboration points are on the cover page there, in that little, on that, uh, at the bottom of the very first page. I, mean, I just have a quick note here that shows what the collaboration waypoints uh, way were as we went through that. So what you have there is as a, it's the reversion and then incorporating all those changes as we went along. And, and, just, and then collaborate with everybody. And just to put this all into perspective, uh, and I don't need to hammer on too, too much all the issues that occurred over the last few months new commissioner, one resigned, so on and so forth. Uh, but this was done June 1 of this year, and we're in October now. So um, there have been some issues within the intervening months that, that, that caused us to perhaps fall off the radar a little bit. But, uh, but it's, it's not like this was consolidated and revised a year ago. No, but our vote, came, months our vote came earlier than June 1, right? Did, well, I think that, that, that there's actually a, there's a couple dates that are on here. Let's see. Um, so it looks like uh, I finished my work on it on the 25th of May. But for all intents and purposes, you're absolutely right. There's been no, I mean, it, nothing's really changed. But, but let me point out, if you go through this and new issues emerge, I volunteer to do my best to, to ramp that through as best we can, and as quickly as I can to meet your schedule. This is an urgent issue that needs to be addressed. And I appreciate your diligence in this. On the other hand, is there, are you a homeowner? Yes, sir. I am. Okay. Uh, don't you ordinarily write your own contract? It, it's uh, client dependent. If a client has their preferred contract, uh, we'll go that route. But we do have a standard form contract, too, that we issue out to clients. Okay. And I apologize, I'm late to the game with Forsgren. I was just hired uh, four months ago. So I was, I'm not in tune with some of the, the prior history to that, but I'd be designated as the project manager for this project. That's fine. For the record, I'd like to. Okay. Form of speech. I'll wait till Mr. Ewing has done that. We, taking fact that we came back to the six, and then we have a document that, let's assume for a moment, is, is ready and acceptable to, to all the parties. Um, the final reason given for the, it's on the record, it is on the record in, in public meetings, and just with all due respect, the last reason it was given for this was an accusation that 
Fosman was conflicted because of my relationship with Will Fosman. What was said is on the record. We can go back and revisit it. But if we're going to get through this and address this issue, and without having the same arguments about their contract, our contract, whose paper it's on, whose ink was used, let's get it on the table, let's man up and have a discussion. And if that's the word it is, then put your cards on the table and let's talk about it. Respectfully. Well, you open the door, go ahead and comment. Can somebody I think be the audience audience speak or is no, that not Let me finish, yes. Grant, first, okay? Just mm -hmm. in a minute, because it. I have contended from day one, and I'm going to stay as calm and collected as I humanly can, that the accusations were not just false and libelous, but they were completely without foundation or proof or support. It is absolutely ridiculous that to think that I, in any way, in collaboration with Will Coder, collaborated to bid rig, for lack of a better term, or do anything of the like. Never been given any evidence, only accusations. And I think I'll say this and then I'll shut up. The group of men and people who um. did this and vetted this process and, and, and made the selection, it is um, disrespectful and unthinkable to think that those men would have collaborated with me and Will Coker to, 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 to direct an outcome that was done improperly. So well, we, we can't make any decisions in a work session. Do you, get, do you want to have more discussion? I just wanted to have, my understanding is that um, the issues that you had initially with the document and the proposals and everything else, those were all presented. And then the changes were made to accommodate the concerns or whatever came up, correct? Am I, am I right? That the concerns just with regard to the contract. Contract, and I'm talking specifically the contract. So the issues related to the contract were all presented, taken back to you folks, they made the changes, and then now we're at a point where all issues supposedly for the contract have been resolved. Well, you have to vote on you have to vote. Of course, you have to vote. but. have been incorporated, restaffed across the waterfront and then represented in the document that you have in front of you. Okay, the so the document, the document you have in front of you has been reviewed by the Water Advisory Committee, has been reviewed by staff, has been reviewed by council, has been reviewed by the, the consultant that was selected to perform the job. And we also had two work sessions. And we had two work sessions. And so this document is a, you know, it's probably been beat up more than any document we've, been, we've tried to approve in the county in the last 10 years. So from, a, from that standpoint, I believe everything at that point was addressed. And, and the board couldn't, couldn't come to a conclusion on that to make well, that decision. Look, look, look. It, it hadn't been brought up again since June 1 till today. It hadn't been brought up because the board, every time it was brought up, the board had, had an issue with it. We were not moving any further ahead. And there, there's a lot of uh, time, effort, and energy put into it by several of the folks sitting here today to try to move it forward and we, we haven't been able to because the board, because of the biggest uh, table. table, they're locked up at the board level. Well, so you have a water advisory committee sitting here today suggesting that it come back in front of the board. They're also saying that this contract is in, is in order for, for county uh, for your consideration. They're also saying that the... That the no, I understand what they're saying, Ed, and I don't need you to interpret their intentions. I'm just pointing out the obvious fact that, that we went through some difficulty with the original versions of the contract. They weren't consistent with the grant application or the grant that was uh, awarded. Okay, then on uh, June 1, we get to this point where we have a consolidated contract. I promise you I will go and study this thoroughly for uh, content and procedure and process and administration so that it's appropriate for boards going forward to <coughs> have to deal with the results of this study. Um, you know, th and that's all I can promise you at this point, is to look at this one um, with fresh eyes, and, and, uh, and uh, that's about all I can I think you're going to... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to speak or not. We don't but we study don't typically. We, uh, you know what? Let's go non typical, Bill. I think this is an important decision. Right? And, and as I said and listened to this thing, uh, I'm, I'm puzzled. And the reason I'm puzzled is, is we, we're looking forward to updating the master plan, updating our rules and regulations. Where we've got uh, applications that are, uh, I don't know what the status of them is for large developments coming in and all of these things. We need the water supply study and we need it two years ago. So right now, we've got the money, if I understand what Mr. Morgan said. We've got the need. And I understand, uh, and I'm going to be a little bit crude, I'm going to say, we've got to have a little thicker skin because some of this stuff is personal and I understand that. I don't care about that. We are where we are today. We need the doggone study. We need it yesterday. We've got the funding. Uh, I, I, and those of you who know me know I get through all the stuff pretty quickly. It needs to get on the agenda. It needs to get approved. We need to put these guys to work. And uh, we need to do it as quickly and as effectively and as efficiently as I can. And you know, uh, one, one of the things that this county needs is it needs updated master plan, it needs a strategic plan for the future. We, this kind of data is what you need to make a rational projection of what your future might be. Let's get going. Let's get it on the ballot, or not on the ballot, on the, the agenda. I'll, I'll, I'll comment on that. And it's not verbatim, but essentially the spirit of the, the grant agreement was to provide decision makers information for planning certain time horizons with respect to what we project to be our limitations in groundwater. And, and, and that was that. That was supposed to be information for the board, county commissioners, and other planners to, to, to utilize uh, to not draw direct connection between the grant and implementing a project and, or any project for that matter. Um, it was simply informational within the scope of those six points. And that's where we got off track, I believe. It, 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 it uh, went, you know, in the, the previous versions of this contract but we are where we are now. Yeah, I, no, I get that, as of June 1. And since then, we've had a hell of a time. And not, not making excuses, I've got it now. We're talking about it now. Um, um, you know, so we'll leave it at that. I would call for it to be on the next board of county commissioners. The next regularly scheduled BOCC meeting is October 26th. And I will note that this is the first time a commissioner has come forward and, and asked for it to be placed on an agenda. So. Now it's been done. Okay. Is this important enough that, it, that October to the 26th? Is that what it's two weeks from today? Oh, so okay. That's October 26th yeah. is our next regularly scheduled one. So. Meantime, I'll, I'll, I'll take a real good look at this. And I think we stand ready to help you in that process. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, since we have the same person, we will also do whatever we need to do. Like all of us get to that point. Mm -hmm. Clarify, we were talking about the six months reports. And did, who's doing those six months reports? Nobody. 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 But staff will. I, yeah, I was under the impression, and I need to go back and look at the document. I haven't done it, and I'm glad they brought it up. But staff will, that'll be one of the things we'll work through with the consultant as we go through. I thought we had to start those six months reports once we entered into that agreement. So we can check on that. We, we just need to check on it and get it up. You know, get it up and speed, whatever it is. I mean, our report probably consists right now. We haven't started the work. So. And who, who will be doing that six months report? We'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. You, I'll, you, 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 yeah, okay. I'll sign it to staff. Yeah. You know, I, I hate to assume, to assume too much, but I think that the expectation of CD, CWCB is conditioned on our extension request so that we have more time to, 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 to get this together. And so, I would think that they could have it. They would have expected six month reports on the well monitoring study. Okay, from Red. And, and, and and I think, I think we, we, we relied yeah. with that. Anything that we started drawing funds on. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we did the, the grant request with regards to well monitoring, that six month requirement 
which is overlay. And Brett and Dr. Paschke are already providing quarterly updates for the CWC. We'll get copies of those. So they're over exercising that six month requirement. So that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But you raise an interesting point, if I might just point to put this out here. The re receptivity of CWCB to another extension request is going to be quite different if the contract's already been let as opposed to if there's nothing at all. Right. So, mm -hmm. and, you know, if the contract's been let, as and Wade points out, the, 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 it's kind of built in that you can bleed that funding over into the following years. But if the contract hasn't been let, they're going to see it in a whole different light. And it also changes the formula as we go forward for more funds, more grant funds are going to say, well, you haven't executed the first one yet. You know, it took you a, a year and a half to get to that point. And it's going to, it's going to move us down on the priority list as the funding, as the funds become available, people who are, are executing them in a timely fashion and following all the procedures are going to be a higher priority than the ones that can't seem to pull the trigger. So you, your 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 position is that, that this is appropriate to the, the task at hand. Yes, sir. I think with the inclusions that you raised and from other parties as well, it's ready to go. Okay, I'll study. Staff feels the same way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.